Hello everyone, I just want to give you a quick intro of the um, NetSuite app in the project manager role. You can see here, I'm in the project manager role here. Um, I want to show you guys the current process of what we have been working out over here at the Amazon team on how to develop and get overcome this creating the projects from the um, mobile app, which isn't natively supported by NetSuite. And so we can go ahead and do this. We'll go to records. From here, we're going to find the customer records. We have a bunch of test customers in here. We need Gabriel's Tower. Give it a moment as it loads. All right, so we're in here. And you can also see in here, when we go in here, we can go in here and see sales and see all the projects that are actually currently associated. All right? And this is actually the limitation of how much you can actually see, which is very limited right however we made a workaround so we can actually create projects go let me go ahead and show you that um, we're going down to the main you see here if we're in edit mode we go in here and say we want to create a new project this is what the project managers will be doing they're going down here create job we name the job name, uh, lighting, floor six, All right? And then once we do that, we can go ahead and hit save. It's loading now, it's saving. Um, in the background, the script is running on the NetSuite side as well. Now we can see that it has saved here. When I go over here to sales, Go in projects. We can see that a new project has been created. From here, all that can happen due to the limitation that Suite app is that a script is automatically created and a whole set of projects is being created, and else and everything has to be taken care of from the PC side here on out. However, just so you guys can get a quick idea of what you guys will be using this for, you can actually input and track your time in here. All right, you can. Whatever you're using it for, report your time, right? This is your calendar. You have your calendar in here and you can input time in here as well in here. But we'll dive a little bit deeper into that in another. You can see, you can see the different tasks that you might be assigned. These are the tasks I'm assigned currently and you can work your way in here. But we'll dive deeper into that in another video. Now we're gonna take it over to the PC side. Hello, so now we're in the project record and I'm going to just pop this open for you. So when the project manager sign in, this is what they're going to see. They're going to go over here and down projects, projects, and they're going to open up the projects, right? Within this project, so you're going to see the customer who it's assigned to. We can see that's in pending status once it's awarded or being awarded. And we can all go ahead and open up the project. You can see it's lighting floor six, Gabriel's Tower, that was from the customer record that was created from. You can see here, these are all the tasks, and each of these tasks have a certain amount of planned hours assigned to it. Steven or someone within the office would be the one that's updating all these things. The additional thing that's going to happen is that we're going to have these predecessors populated so we can look at the Gantt chart. Right now, you can see that the Gantt chart isn't properly filled out because they all have the same date. But once we have the predecessors, it'll be filled out in the proper way. And then we're going to also assign the resource names once we get that template from Steven. So once the, the next step is that th these are all gonna be assigned to the same resource name, right? So let's say these two are assigned to administrative support. This is eight hours. And then this is also gonna be administrative support, right? It's gonna be eight hours. And then this, this task specifically is going to be um, the project manager's task. And this is also eight hours. Right. So this is going to be assigned to them. And then eventually they can say, hey, we're actually going to assign this task to, oh, sorry, that popped open. We're going to assign this task. They're going to, Assign this task to uh, the 
Gabriel, uh, they're going to sign it to me. Right? You can see both of these are automatically updated. So you only have to update one task and all the other tasks are assigned to that. Resource will also op update automatically. So this will help with data input redundancy. Hope this helps. Um, we can dive more into this. This is just the first round. As you say, we have to be so, as you saw, we still have to set these predecessors so we can get the Gantt chart looking right. And we also have to get the proper mapping of the resource name. So, but this is the current progress. This will allow, um, this will allow them to update and create projects on location sites with this common template. And just one person is gonna have to go in here and update who it's actually assigned to once the, the project's awarded, right? Once it's awarded, have to update who it's actually assigned to. And then you guys can play around with the start dates a little bit more. And the predecessors are gonna have to be filled in too. I hope this helps. Uh, we'll be looking forward to talking to you more and hammering this out. Thank you.